Everybody's doing good. Give everybody a second. Go ahead and settle in. Do what you got going. Get, get yourself settled in, relaxed. And uh, I know we just came back from lunch, and I know that's a, that's a hard one for me to come back from. There's a lot of things that can't take me down, but lunch is the one thing that'll always take me down. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Ray? Oh, yeah. Lunch, lunch, lunch. It's hard to get moving after lunch, you know? It is. Uh, it is. It's tough. It kind of makes me understand why some people just snack a little bit throughout the day because doing one meal makes you so full. Um, so, guys, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, welcome. It's uh, Employment Live with Zach today. And uh, I know we've been having a lot of fun uh, in the office here throughout this uh, holiday season so far, you know, with Thanksgiving and Halloween, and now we're going into the Christmas season, and we've got some more volunteering happening. I know I talked a little bit about that last time. Um, but, you know, I think one of the important things to remember, and because it can get a little discouraging for those of us who are out searching for work, and, you know, during this time of year, uh, you know, number one, the seasonal stuff comes around, right? And then... Not going to beat around the bush, uh, you know, employment does go down a little bit during December um, because, you know, a lot of the uh, hires they've made, especially in the retail business uh, particularly, um, a lot of the hires they made are for the season and they're not going to know if they're going to keep anybody on or even rehire people until the beginning of the new year. But one thing that's really nice about this time of year is it's a really good time to start thinking about it. You know, instead of saying, oh, bummer, I can't get a job this month anyway. I'm not saying that's the case. There's still going to be work out there. But this is also a good time of year to really settle in and find something that you really want to shoot for. Uh, a lot of time to really go into new jobs and find new work is, believe it or not, is February, January. Um, and the reason I say that is because a lot of times uh, businesses with sales, they can project their quarters so they can see if they need to bring on new employees um, to uh, meet the demand of what their sales projections might look like. Um, I know in a lot of places they see at the end of the year, you know, but just like we go into the new year, and we want to, you know, we have all these things about the new year, you know, our new year's resolutions, so to speak, and all these goals that we want to do throughout the new year. Uh, businesses operate very similarly, actually. Um, you know, whether it's based off the financial need, sometimes they find out that the team they had in place didn't work. Um, and so they need to make some changes in that aspect. So, you know, and this is a really good time of year and, you know, instead of just being stagnant or not being active or coming and even speaking with me, if, if, if you want to, you know, so choose to do that, um, this is a good time for us to double check our resume and, like I said, really sit down and start focusing on some places that, of interest, uh, that suit your skill set. Um, you know, we all have different skill sets, you guys. Uh, I definitely am not going to be a mechanic, okay? I don't have the skill set to build cars. Like, you know, I just, I don't have it. Um, and I'm okay with that. I can live with that. And if someone told me, Zach, you're not going to be able to do that, you know, I'm not going to get upset because they're right. I'm not going to be able to do it, you know? I might learn a little bit, you know, because we can all learn something, right? But there's certain things, you know, it's, it's okay. It's okay to say, you know, this is just not in my wheelhouse. And I think that's what's really important for all of us, not just anybody out there, anybody in general. We've got to be realistic with ourselves. And is it something that do we want to do? Is it something that we that we feel like we can have success in and we can, you know, enjoy? All right. Um, and remember, success is it. It's not just success doesn't just go like this. Okay, it does a lot of this. Okay, so remember that you are always going to have your ups and downs, but. Um, you know, it's a good time to really sit down and think about it, you guys. So I think what I kind of want to do is, everybody out there right now, I kind of hope maybe uh, you're thinking about some of these, uh, you know, maybe maybe job, maybe, you know, uh, something that, you, an area of work uh, that you want to maybe look into starting the new year. Or maybe there's a specific businesses that you want to apply for starting 
as the new year comes around. Um, you know, uh, maybe for some of you, it's it's not even getting a job just yet. Maybe it's like, you know, hey, let's get my resume done. I, I really would like to get that out on paper and really see what that feels like to have that. Um, you know, this is a great time for all that, you guys. Um, I know uh, sometimes we get caught up in, it's, you know, the holiday season. And I mean, trust me, yeah, deep down, yes. I wish we were going to Christmas parties every night and it just was one big holiday season and everything shut down. But it doesn't. And, you know, we shouldn't shut down either. We should continue to push ourselves. And it's a good time to tie up some of those loose ends to prepare our job search for as the new year comes. Like I said, I'm not saying let's stop now because we're not going to stop. But let's get moving forward and start thinking about going forward. So, uh, guys, uh, yeah, I, like I said, so start thinking about it. I'm going to have some uh, folks coming on in here. Uh, I don't know if I have anyone lined up at the door yet. Uh, but uh, definitely want to kind of find out some of the things that you want to do. This is kind of like a work New Year's resolution -y kind of thing here. Kind of find out. What you're shooting for, what what your uh, what your goals are coming up into this new year when it, it comes in regards to employment, and that can even happen with those of you who have jobs. Maybe you have goals to uh, move up and to uh, you know, and, and or, or 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 even to, to standing there staring at me. Steve doesn't work, dude. Sorry, guys. Steve was standing there staring at me. It was pretty creepy. And made my focus go looking at Steve the whole time. But, uh, um, so, yeah, so definitely check it out. Did Clayton get you? No. Oh, come on up here, Steve. <laughs> so, Hi, everybody. First guy. Hey, it's Steve. Steve, how you doing? Pretty good. No, good, good. So, Steve, 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 Steve. So, uh, do you got any, uh, did you, do you have any new, year? so when it comes to looking for work or work, do you have anything that you want to accomplish as this year winds down going into the new year? Yeah, well, I've got a job, janitorial. Want to find a janitorial job? Yeah. Nice, so you know the kind of work you want to go yeah. into. Um, do you know, is there any specific places you want to look, or are you just kind of open? I'm kind of open. Just pretty open? Okay. Um, now, uh, you know janitorial, a lot of janitorial is done in the evenings overnight, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, that is something to remember. Thanks, Steve, for actually bringing that up. That's something to uh, always pay attention to, guys, as you start your looking into what it is you want to do. Start looking at what, you know, typically is a day like for someone who's a janitor. Typically, look at what a day is like for someone who might be, you know, making french fries. Uh, if you're doing cashier work in a retail store, look what a day looks like. Start looking at it. You know, your hours might be, like in Steve's case, a lot of janitorial jobs. They are overnight. I mean, the best way to clean a building, right, is to have yeah. nobody in it, right? So, yeah. you know, a lot of times janitorial jobs are. I mean, they do have daytime janitorial jobs. Yeah. I'm not saying those don't exist, but it's something to definitely pay attention to. And that's part of that research and getting familiar, you know, with what you want to go into. So, mm -hmm. Steve, great. I mean, you got us off to a good start. Is there anything, uh, uh, anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, I think I'll wait to the job. I'll wait till I go to Oregon to find another job. You're going to wait until you go to Oregon? Oh, okay. Yeah, are you moving? Yeah. Oh, you are? I didn't know this. Yeah, we're going to Oregon. Oh, we're wow. When are you heading to Oregon? Huh? In four months. Four months, right on. Okay. So, that's, and you know what? That's actually, Steve brings up a good point. You know, this is a further move for Steve. Um. You can definitely start your research, even if you're moving, start researching the town you're going to live in, yeah. what jobs might be available up there. You can start. I don't know what town we're going to live in, to my, my town will bring down. You don't know exactly yet? Yeah, yeah but, as you, and so, but when you do find out that kind of information, you can start researching that. When you find out if you guys sit down eventually and you have your place you're going to go to and all the stuff you're going to do, yeah. you could definitely set up and start looking for that. So I think that's great. Yeah, awesome, right. Steve. Well, thank you, man. I All appreciate right. it. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, All Steve. Right. Yeah, so no. Bye, so, anybody. <laughs> so, Steve, you know, is a good example of someone who's definitely going to want to research. Uh, like I said, uh, especially too with moving, you know, you can start 
looking at what? Yeah. Are you coming on up? Yep. All right. So I got another guest here coming on in. Uh, oh, Mr. Chad, sir. Hi, how are you? Good. Good deal, good deal. So uh, I'm talking about kind of like uh, end of the year, wrapping up, and going into next year, and uh, the new year. And is there any like employment opportunities out there that you would like to see yourself uh, doing? Well, I still like doing them keychains. You like the keychains. That's nice. That's nice. No, that's, the keychains are great. But if you had to pick something out in the community, I don't, I'm not saying the keychains won't be around, but what's out, what's out in the community that you would enjoy? Hmm, what would I enjoy? How about janitorial stuff? Yeah? You yeah. don't want to clean stuff up and all that? Yeah. You guys are braver than I am. I don't mind either. Janitorial is actually kind of a nice job, to be honest with you. Oh. I like it. I like cleaning stuff. My yeah. mind doesn't have to do too much thinking. It just gets to focus on making the floor shiny or the wall shiny or whatever. So, yeah, definitely. Now, have you done any research on times when janitorial jobs you know you might work or different places that offer janitorial? Have you have you done any research on that yet? No. Okay. So that's definitely something like a New Year's resolution you can make is do some research on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, it's really important, you know. I mean, if you're going to come up and you do want to pick something to work, it's good to know exactly what it is you're going to go into. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to walk into a building blind, would you? No. Yeah. So, you kind of want to go about looking into work and, and, and doing that, you know, and having as much knowledge as you do. So. I think it's a great. I think it's a great idea, Chad. I think it's a, a, a great work. I think you'd be wonderful at it. Um, but like I said, uh, I know. And I know who it was. Um, but uh, no, I think you did great, man. Thank you for coming on up. Thanks for sharing that janitorial, Chad. I like that, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, come on in! If you want to try it. Yeah, of course! Yeah, he has some aspirations. Of course, I like it. I don't mind aspirations. Welcome, sir! Hello, Jack! Hey! So we got my man Heath. Yeah, right there's the camera, buddy. Your yeah. first time? Yeah, the time, yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry you're stuck in here with me and Ray. Oh, wait a poor old man. I got you. I can do it. do it. <laughs> yeah, Ray and I, we're, we're, we're a couple of, we're, we're a couple of knuckleheads just hanging out here. Yeah. So, Heath, I do know you have aspirations. I know you have work experience. Um, I unfortunately know you're a 49er fan too, but that's okay. We won't talk about that right now. Um, we'll discuss that at a later date. No, but <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time, buddy. Uh, but... What are some interests that you see? And I know one right now because we're kind of working towards it. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are some interests you have, buddy? Uh, I like you. Uh, I like I like, I like, I like to get fishing rods. I like to get more jobs out there in the Navy, like Modesto. Like to get more jobs in Modesto. Yeah. So like to find work and, and what are what what's a what's a kind of job that you're looking into? Do you like uh? Stocking things, do you like cleaning? Do you like cooking food? Do you like uh I do I do uh I do a lot of stocking cells. He do. Uh the other bear um just putting stuff on themselves in there. Oh stocking Christmas stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that is that, yeah. Nice, nice. And well, you know, definitely, I know you and I were already looking and we're already doing some other stuff for work, but definitely, uh, even if you have a job, I mean, maybe next season we could find you something stuck in shells and stuff, too. We didn't find a job before then, but I'm just saying, maybe next season we can get you a job stuck in shells and putting the stuff up there during Christmas time. Well, I do, I do this, uh, muscle, muscle, I do, 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 and get Christmas trees, boxes, and nice. all the stuff that I'm learning that's better. 
Because I knew I'd better ride on him. Me, 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 I spared myself. I spared myself. I spared myself. Uh-huh. Uh, for cow for 14 years. Yeah, I know. I saw that cow trans on there for 14 years. That's great. I got worked here for a long time. I'm going to clean tables and trash and restrooms and stuff. I think that, that's, that's great. That's so I know. Well, that's how I do all the time. I do a lot of work. I do many things. I do all the I do all the work. Me and my guys do it better. You're better than this guy than you. My son, you're better. You guys were a good, you guys were a good team out there, huh? Team, team, yeah, team. You guys yeah. came in and just knocked that stuff out. Yeah, huh? Sounds good. like it. Sounds yeah. like you were a heck of a team, heck of a team player. Player, that's, yeah. That, that's important, you guys. Remember when you're looking for work. So, right on. Well, hey, Heath, I appreciate you coming in here. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to keep uh, hitting the pavement like we're doing. I remember the no second and get more jobs. Yes, you are right. We're going to hit that. We're going to find more jobs. Hi there. All right, Heath, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Give Heath that shout out. It's never easy to come in for your first time. And uh, thank you, Heath, coming on in. I got uh, another gentleman here coming on up. Come on up, sir. Hi, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. So, uh, New Year's coming around here in about a month. We're getting ready for the Christmas season. It's a great time to kind of start settling down, kind of refocusing ourselves. And, 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 and you know, for all of us, like, you know, I said earlier, you know, we all make these, these, these plans we want to accomplish during the new year. And I think, uh, and not only do we make personal plans, you know, some of us make work plans. And what are some of the plans that you have right now in, in place uh, that's going to help you accomplish your goals when it comes to employment? Um, I think probably maybe think hard. Think hard? Well, thinking hard is important. Um, and, and, and the reason I say it like that is because you really, uh, a job is, you know, it's okay to go into some jobs and find out, oh, you know, this job's not for me. It's okay. But if you're doing that all the time, that eventually will come back to bite you in the butt. So it is. You do need to think hard, and you do need to think, you know, as you read all of the details and all of the what the hours might be, the working conditions might be. Those are all very important things to uh, read about. So as part of your thinking hard, you know, doing that research will really put that in place for you and I give you a lot of information to decide, you know, down the road what kind of career or, you know, maybe it's not your career, but maybe it's just your first job. Just get your first job out there and get going. Right. So. Yeah, thinking hard is, is, is definitely, is, 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 it's, it's nothing wrong with thinking hard. The thing is, is as you're thinking hard, though, you want to be thinking as you're doing that research, as you're going through stuff. Because I know me, if I just start thinking up here, it just stays up there. Mm -hmm. And I don't do a whole lot with it. <laughs> just sits right there. But if I put it down there in paper, or I start going and doing it, then, you know, I do accomplish stuff. But, no, you're not wrong about that. Definitely. It's a, and you should think hard, you guys. It shouldn't be a fly-by-the-night situation. I mean, once you choose to go into some form of employment, you need to be ready to go all in. You know, even if you find out it's not for you, you still want to be able to go all in. So you want to be able to, to do that comfortably. So, yes, very good. I like your glasses. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming on up. I come in visible glasses. No, I like them. I like them. They're, they're kind of they're, they're pretty slick. I think I'm going to get bright green my next ones. Come on up, sir. How you right. doing? I'm good, you? I'm doing very well. So, uh, I know you've uh, had some employment recently, and I know you're employed currently. Um, and so, your aspirations and things might be a little different than others. Mm -hmm. What is something that you're kind of hoping maybe as New Year comes around? Um, right now, I'm thinking of, um, I, well, I learned a lot about retail, so I've, I've taken that and really run with it. Oh. Um, but I also like the job that I have coming into baseball season, because as you both know, my boss wants me back for baseball season. Yeah. 
So, because I'm already going to be doing that, I am working around where I have a few, where I have baseball season, work with baseball season, have a little bit of off, and then go back into maybe the Christmas season again. Um, I'm not quite sure to be on that one, to be honest, but at least I know I've made a definite decision to at least work seasonally for baseball. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this, because baseball, you know, you know the gig, mm -hmm. you're walking into it, you, you know, like you said, you have people that really like you, I mean, you do, as, I mean, you, you might not at this particular moment, but you, you have potential for growth there too, oh, as time progresses, right. obviously, mm -hmm. but let's say Bath and Body Works, let's just say, mm -hmm. right? let's say the season ended, and they say, Brennan, I really like what you're doing. Would you mind picking up part-time hours here at Bath and Body Works? Is is that something that would interest you? If you could make the two work, because I know you're kind of dead set. Yeah. Um, if I could make it work, I would say yes. Okay. Um, I don't know at this moment, though, but I do know that if I can make it work, I would. Okay, so Brennan brought up some good points. He doesn't know yet, so what's he got to do? Check the mobile Research right? it and check yeah. it out. No, yes. and, and you know what, and, and the reason I brought that up, Brendan, is because the more you have an idea that, that you know, and you don't have to make that decision right now. No, right. You know, you, so you don't have to worry about it. But it's right. definitely something to have on the back burner, I think, because I know you mentioned you really do enjoy it there. And, you know, let's say part-time was working maybe one day a week for... Yeah. For the time being, you know, mm -hmm. or something like that, or two days yeah. a week. Who knows? So, you know, you 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 you're a, you're you're just in a unique spot. It is. And because I did get the yeah. email, I know January for a lot of reapplies. Yeah, they're gonna start the reapplying in January, mm -hmm. February for the Vanessa Nuts gig. Yeah. And so, yeah. So that's an interesting one, but definitely, uh, I would sit down and, and definitely research. Um, yeah, because I know the weekends are their bread and butter weekends for Bath and Body. And you and, already work. And I work with on the weekends. Smart thinking. So it's, it, they say they're a lot slower Monday through Friday, even in the afternoons. Oh, wow. That's just because a lot of the families go out on the weekend. True. And the mall becomes busier. And when the mall becomes busier, the stores get busier. So Brennan's bringing you guys some research right now for retail. So if you guys looking to look at mall opportunities, yes, the if weekends. you're looking at a mall opportunity, he's saying right now, the weekends would be your shifts realistically, and yes. would you would be most needed in those jobs. It would be, yes. Do not be afraid to look into other forms of transportation if you have to for the weekend, because the weekends are where they're going to want to put you. More than likely. Not saying that that's all jobs, but the weekend is uh, retail bread and butter, right. especially for their off season. That is primarily where they're at, you know, and when you do want to do seasonal, maybe ask them, you know, like, hey, I've noticed that the seasons are coming up, holidays are coming up, you know, whatever reason, then you ask them and then they'll be like, okay, well, this is how you do it. And so, you know, there's a possibility. So that's what the weekends are for, too. Okay. So to work for off-season work. All right. All right. So he's done some, he's done not all his own research, but he's gotten information and he's taken it in and he's learning from it. And this is very important to understand. Um, you know, Brandon brings up some great points. These are things that should be researched. Regardless of the job, but yes, transportation, one hundred percent. Yes, because transportation is, is when working in retail, you gotta make sure you have that down pat, you know, for however, however it's gonna work. Because with retail, the weekends are well, the weekends, and just think, summertime though too as well is a lot of the time where families are going places, they're going, you know, on vacation. Yep. A lot of people are gonna be out, so if anything. And you think, oh, well, if I don't do seasonal, then it's going to be slow. Maybe the case, but it doesn't mean that it's always going to be like that. Yeah, no, I, I, I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. And, um, now, I would say, I'm going to ask you one thing, because I, I, I do know that, unfortunately, 
this year when I brought up a lot of seasonal stuff, I had some people that really jumped on it right away, and I had a few not so much want to jump on it. What what would you say having having firsthand experience doing a holiday season job and being able to in a short period learn a little bit of a new trade? How's that been for you? Well, for the trade that I'm specifically working in at the moment, it's what we've already learned through here, front facing and restock and replenishment. Um, replenishment is at the, the front of the store, restocking is from going from the back to the front yeah. of the store. Yeah. So lucky for my store is that Bath & Body, they have a replenish where you go underneath, there's shelves underneath, there's stock already in there, mm -hmm. and then you just put it on top of the shelves. Nice. So that's a lot of my, we've learned here, which has really helped. Um, and so I just got to remember what the safety strategy of the day is or the month mm -hmm. and just go from there. Really. Nice. So he's taking a lot of the stuff from here and doing, you know, the trains that all those awesome instructors do, uh, you know, here they are helping out in the real life situation. So awesome, man. I appreciate you coming up. I appreciate all that input. He brings up a lot of good points, you guys. Like I said, I mean, I mean, transportation, transportation and hours would be probably the first two things I would look up before I even looked up the kind of job I would want. Uh, I mean, just because it is important. You want to know how you're going to get there. Uh, I have another person standing over there. Don't quite know his name yet. Um, but uh, I, mean, I might remember when he sits down here. Let's see. He looks familiar. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. I can kind of see his face now. Thanks, Zach. Oh, hey, it's Orphil! <laughs> Orphil, how you doing, sir? I don't know if he wants to doing the Salvation Army. Oh, yeah, Lana made these. Oh, nice! Mm. You all have any spare change? So, Orphil was out at... Uh, Wait, look at the plot in the description. For Starbucks. For Starbucks. Uh, were you guys all drinking Starbucks out there? No, I don't drink that. <laughs> at all. I didn't even went there, you know. <laughs> but how did people like the signs? Eh, they look okay. At least I like it, though. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Orphil. Thanks. <laughs> so, hey, Orphil, so you were out volunteering today. You didn't make this. Yes, this one... one it's blank. This one, just leave a blank check. Um, That's because I'm busy. Yeah, you're a busy guy. Don't worry about it. Those are great. How was it out there today? Oh, good. I just organized the toys to censor the barcode. And the barcode, more like the sensor thing that you can scan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You organize those? Yeah, to erase, <laughs> to marker them. Oh, okay. Nice. And where was that at today? At the... Salvation Army. Oh, you were at Salvation Army? Yes. So that's what you were doing over there today? You were, So you were doing the... Were you ringing the bell today? No. No. So you were at other than the, the actual... Uh, Ron and Gary. Got it. Okay. I, it's Because we're also doing the bell ringing for Salvation Army. So Salvation Army is all over the place right now. Um, Orville, so going into the new year, do you have anything that you're kind of looking for when it comes to employment? What's the kind of job you would like to do? Just organizing and cleaning. Organizing and cleaning. Really? Either that or just fixing. Fixing stuff? What kind of stuff do you like to fix? I don't know, like consoles, like PlayStation, or Vita, or PSP. PSP. Hmm. Huh. So Orphils can organize, fix, and clean. That's good. That's very specific. Um, they're, 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 those, are, those are awesome. And uh, I bet you you're great at it. Um, have you thought about, uh, now, when you talk about organizing and cleaning, do you have any specific places that you would want to work to do that, or you kind of open to anywhere? Hmm. I mean, I know you kind of, transportation, because you live in... A, yes. Yes. So, so I know you would want to find something over there. Mm-hmm. So that's important, right? So you'd want to research that. Definitely. Yeah, that's just a repair shop. That's about it, really. But that's about it, huh? Yeah. Organizing and cleaning, huh? But that's fixing, too. Oh, fixing. 
You know, I actually have the perfect place for you to do all those things. It's called Zach Weiss's house. So your home. Um, I need fixing, organizing, and cleaning. So your home then? Yeah. Oh. So um, I'm going to apply for a grant and see if I can hire you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Have fun renting, I guess. <laughs> no, uh, no. You know what? That's a talent that a lot of folks don't have, uh, and I think it's really cool that you do have that talent because it takes patience. It takes a lot to uh, to uh, be able to sit and organize and to focus on little things like that, and that's actually a very uh, very good skill to have. It'll come in handy in very many opportunities that'll come your way. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I think it's great. Awesome, Orville. Thanks for coming up here and talking to me. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing me the signs. Yeah, they made the salvation oh, order to organizing uh, things. We all have any spare change for coffee for Starbucks. Yeah, you forgot to put the subtitle. Yep, I did. Well, thank you, Orphil. Here's your awesome signs. Okay. And uh, you have a good one, dude. All right? Thank you, sir. Well, good luck, then. I'll see you I, back. I need all the luck I can get. Thank you. Well, it's 131, guys. Um, like I said, it's a great time of year to just slow down a little bit. I mean, obviously, if you still want to keep really grinding and looking, you know, let's keep doing it. But also, too, for some of you, it's a good opportunity to take a step back, reevaluate. You know, you might find, you might find even, too, what you were thinking about last year to this year or six months ago to right now has already changed. And, and that's okay, too. Okay? So uh, definitely put a lot of thought into it. Because remember, once you become employed, it's... A real deal. You're you're working and you're working for that business. So you want to know as much as you can uh, about that place before you go in and about the job itself because you know all of a sudden you know that reality could happen, right? And here you are. And so it's it'd be nice to know what's what's going on. Okay. So hey guys, thank you everyone for out there. Thank you for coming on and sharing and talking and. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your Wednesday. Uh, you take care, and you have a good one. All right, bye now. Oh. Okay? I'm a broken old man, Orphil. I don't know about that. <laughs> you look fine to me. Yeah. <laughs> they can still hear us talking. Okay. Well, bye, guys. Have a nice weekend, day, day and night, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Where's the, where's the, oh, there it is. We found it. I found it, Orphil. Good luck.